How should you respond to a Kafka trap attempt? Before I talk about your options, here are three things to keep in mind when deciding on your next steps. First, remember that Kafka trapping is an act of personal aggression. You have a right to feel offended and angry when someone tries to Kafka trap you. Calling someone's character into question unprovoked in order to manipulate them into agreeing with you is a nasty tactic. Second, recognize that a Kafka trap is not an argument, so it cannot be met effectively with argument. It is a meta-argumentative move meant to shift the field of play from logical analysis of evidence and inferential links to the issue of the moral guilt or innocence of the target. Since it's not an argument, it cannot be refuted or shown invalid. Third, Keep in mind that the Kafka trap aims to exploit the victim's insecurity or self-doubt about his or her worthiness to be accepted as a member of some community. One way to prepare to resist such an attempt is to know and address your own insecurities and have a clear and healthy sense of your own worth. Now, with that out of the way, here are two things I think you should not do when responding to a Kafka trap. Do not defend yourself. This concedes the Kafka trapper's authority and confirms the shift in discourse from the issue at hand to your moral or political character, your worthiness to belong to the larger civilized community. Also, do not agree with the systematic conclusion about oppression. Even if you believe that it is true, conceding as much in response to a Kafka trap confirms the shift in discourse Rewarding Kafka trappers just incentivizes them, and good causes deserve better. So if someone tries to Kafka trap you, you have several options what to do next. One is to name the Kafka trap for what it is. Call attention to it as a diversionary tactic. Say, you are trying to change the subject, which is X. You can do this as prelude to returning the conversation to the evidence and argument about the issue at hand, not your moral character or right to participate in the conversation. This has a low likelihood of success, though, as Kafka trappers are highly motivated ideologues who have already shown their lack of principle by trying to Kafka trap you. Calling them out may, however, lead some in the audience to recognize that the Kafka trap is a bad faith maneuver in the argument. It may be worth your while to alert them to that. Another option is to ignore the Kafka trap entirely as though it had never existed, or alternately, to deny it without elaboration. When told your denial or skepticism or demand for evidence shows you are guilty of a social sin, say, no, it doesn't, and wait for the Kafka trapper's response. This may fluster someone who was expecting a defensive evasion. Option three, counterattack the moral character of the Kafka trapper. Say, who are you to attack me? What are your qualifications to make this judgment? Where is the evidence of your moral superiority? A note of caution, the counterattack must be pulled off with flawless self-confidence. Any hint of self-doubt or uncertainty invites the Kafka trapper to redouble the attack. Counterattack is a risky strategy. Note that it threatens to shift the discourse again from your moral character to the moral character of the Kafka trapper. Things may get very personal. At this point, it is unlikely you will introduce self-doubt into the Kafka trapper's mind. You might make your objective to win the audience's sympathy. One final option is to be intentionally rude and offensive. Flip the table in response to the Kafka trap attempt. Of course, this is something we learn never to do in arguing and giving reasons. But what all four responses here have in common is they are not argumentative responses, but responses to a personal attack. Your instinct to follow the rules of argument in responding to a Kafka trap can lure you into presenting arguments in defense of your own character which plays right into the Kafka trapper's hands. From a purely rational perspective, there are no good options when facing a Kafka trap. Persuasion by argument is probably off the table for good in its aftermath. Recognizing this is an important step in responding effectively.
So that's my advice about what you might do if someone attempts to Kafka trap you. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.